y'all this your boy Lorente and I'm about to get into this video see the title I am a LeBron fan I ain't got a lie but uh we about to get into this video about to react to who is named the greatest of all time me personally I, I can't sit here and say there's one specific basketball player who's the greatest of all time but me personally I feel like LeBron is but since we dealing with different decades, you know, eras and all that, positions, play styles, I feel like LeBron is just the one to be able to dominate the 2010s and then Jordan dominated the 90s. We're going to get into this reaction. Let's get right into it. Top 50 plays. Sheesh. That ain't look bad at all. That's the top 50? I wonder what series that was. Uh, Jeez. And Patrick Ewan? Leak. Oh my goodness. Woo. One thing you can, you can say about Jordan, man. He don't care who under that room. Crazy fake. Crazy fake. He does it so easy with one hand. Who's that? Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, he does it so easy with one hand. And right there on you one. I remember this. This is one for 63. Crazy, man. Young MJ. And I wish I could be able to do that stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie. God damn, how many plays he got on you one? Damn, they got old MJ? I mean, they still ain't really won nothing. God damn. Bro, his one-handers are just crazy. Like, he just flying. He just palmed the ball. Bruh, he got so many fucking plays on him, that makes no sense. But this hang time is crazy, I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing I can admit. Down to seven, it was 11. Here's Jordan in deep on Elo. Oh, how you do that? Here's Jordan in deep on Elo. 
Bro, how are you even do that? Dominic Wilkins. Tenacious defender. Who's that, Moses Malone? Just be bullying the Knicks. Oh, he used to give them nightmares. Ah. Throwing it up and it always go in. Yeah, he got his shit blocked. Oh, he about to pin that. Bro, this is an old MJ. He was pissed. Save that. How did he say that he blocked it? And he saved it. Bro, that is quick reflexes right there. That's a that's a phenomenal play. Yeah, yeah. That's on Laza Morning. That's one thing I'll say about Michael Jordan that he he would like do some of the most ridiculous acrobatic mid air twists, layups, circus shots. That's one thing I'll say about Michael Jordan. Like he was the he was first off, he was definitely way ahead of his time. I give him that. Way ahead of his time. Throw it up over his head. Now just watch this as he spins baseline. Come on he now. comes into the traffic, just throws it up, hoping. And he was strong while in the air. You know, a lot of times, you know, people nowadays they just try to get the foul, try to get to the line. But with Jordan, he made sure that with every like every effort to the whistle blow, he was gonna try to get that ball in. Michael Strip got it back. Three. Two, Michael falls, fires, yeah! Oh, does it again! The ball's land, he looks at the crowd! At the buzzer, this crowd is stunned! Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, for him being older and he used to making plays on the Wizards, that's, that's crazy. I think he f finished off averaging like 20. This final season, there ain't no telling. Him. 
I don't know what he could have been kept doing or if he went to a better team. Man, that was a crazy game, man. Oh my goodness. It's a great play. And he has the deadliest mid range. The deadliest. Did he, even, did he get a head start? I mean, that's a great play. He had a head start, man. Was that a different rule back then? He, I mean, I, it's still phenomenal. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, my goodness. Along with Michael Jordan. Inbound the cart right to Jordan. Time winding down. Michael for three. Yeah! On net, too. Yes, yes, yes. A winner. Unbelievable. It's a seven second disparity between the shot clock and the game clock. It's on Charles. He scored. He threw it up. Off that of the red end. That's Charles, ain't it? I'm telling you, he's bullying the Jazz, man. It's crazy. Crazy. He throw up. Yeah, he was going crazy with that dunk, uh, dunk contest. There he goes. He goes in straight, goes up in the Just air, flying. sideways. Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. Look at his head above the rim. They gave him a 50. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his team. Iconic, man. Strong right back to Bulls. He bought 14. Jordan has My goodness. Acrobatic man, how, how do you practice that? Is it just an instinct? How do you practice that? I don't, I don't think we ever got footage of how he actually practiced those type of motions. Crazy, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Sick, you gotta be. And then you go out there and play basketball. 
can give us an incredible performance. Boy, he was tired. Some people try to say it's fake. I don't think it's fake, man. I do look like he was tired. Celebration. Now, people debate this one. But they say it's unnecessary. But it's iconic, I give them that. But it was definitely unnecessary. No one was attempting to block it. But it's definitely iconic. Uh, the Bulls can win it right here. The Bulls can win it. Last game. The Bulls. Michael against Russell. Twelve seconds. Eleven. Jordan. Jordan to drive. Hang. Fires. Yes. He scores. The How do you let Jordan get that shot? With five and two cats left. And they say he pushed him. They're one stop away. Oh my. I think it was just momentum, but. That's, that's what you call a goat, man. One of the goats, I should say. <laughs> I kind of thought. He definitely paved a new wave for you know, the likes of Kobe and Iverson. And even LeBron, so. But uh, I definitely give him that, man. Jordan, was, he definitely dominated his time. One of the top tier guards. Arguably one of the greatest players of all time, or the greatest. I can't say the greatest because of just the decade that he played in. I feel like he definitely would have dominated in today's game and also as well, you know, um, with the early 2000s, he's definitely doing decent. But he was like up in age. I can't say that he is the greatest of all time or any player for that matter. I feel like LeBron is, but I can't just say definitively because due to the fact that the differences of rules, the, the decades, how things were just so different, play styles, the type of offense and, and how to be able to play in a half court set, you know, back then they, they weren't really, you know, really utilizing the three point line. Uh, like that uh, it was something that was you know newly implemented and you know at, at, you know back then Jordan was a, wasn't a great three-point shooter you know he was like you know mid-range and on you know on in definitely dominated in the inside as a guard but when you look at the players like LeBron James and compare them with the likes of Michael Jordan you can't necessarily completely say okay this was the greatest it's different positions different play styles, you know, and also as well, different competition. Me personally, I feel like LeBron's competition was way, is way more, you know, uh, elite than Jordan's competition back then uh, due to the fact of how, how much more that they can do from the perimeter compared to, you know, Jordan's, you know, you know, uh, the people that he had to face. Um, but I still feel like there was exceptional talent back then, just that they were very different from how today's era is, and especially when you look at the things that LeBron has been able to achieve, even though he has had, you know, some failures, especially when it comes to his, you know, his finals records. But you can't blame him because of the elite talent that he had to face. And also as well, the, okay, I'll say it like this. When you put together some of the unfortunate circumstances that happened in Cleveland, uh, especially that first stint, uh, not the first stint, but when he got there, when he came back to Cleveland in 2015, um, then they went to the finals. Kevin Love and Kyrie, they were both hurt. And he put on a, he put on one of the most credible, I feel like they should have, you know, gave him the, the Jerry West treatment when they gave him the finals, even though you know, he lost. I feel like he put on a hell of a performance even by himself as a player. 
uh, but and also as well when you look at how you know the circumstance that he had to go against he had to go against KD he had to go against KD on the Warriors the Warriors is already hella crazy the following season after the 2016 season they got KD which they shouldn't have got him but he put them over the top one of the greatest teams to be formed he put LeBron against them in his his company come on now that's just unfair you think Jordan would have won that you think Jordan and Scotty and Dennis Rodman whoever else Steve Kerr you think I don't know it's just I feel like the debate different decades different time periods different you know levels of competition uh field of competition I should say I feel like Jordan in his own right has been the greatest of his time I feel like LeBron is dominating this time and also as well a couple other people who's right there with him who say Curry obviously coming off of a fourth championship in his first finals MVP um, but yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm not a, a Michael Jordan hater. I really do like uh, Michael Jordan. Um, I just can't say he's the greatest of all time because of difference in decades and time period and era. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video. Peace.